Hello, today we're going to make a stomp rocket. The things you need to make a stomp rocket are a bottle, a garden hose, a length of about a meter and a half, another garden hose bit about 20 centimeters long, some glue, hot glue gun, some paper, some duct tape or electrical tape, cardboard, scissors, and I think that's it. So let's get started. All right, to start off with you take your piece of paper and your bit of garden hose. And what you need to do is make the body of your rocket. And you want to make it the same size as the garden hose. So you roll the piece of paper around the garden hose. You take your glue put a line of glue across there, roll it a bit another line of glue, roll it some more Okay, then use your fingers to make sure you get that edge glued nice and tight to your stomp rocket body. Okay, so like that. Then you push out your hose, and there's your the body for your rocket. Now the nose cone. We'll set that aside. Get another piece. You can take your roll of tape if you like. You want a circle now. Cut out the circle. Okay, there's my circle of paper. <clears throat> you cut out a notch. Probably a quarter, like so. Then we overlap the sides until we get a cone shape. That will fit nicely on, on, the, on the end of your rocket. So add a little bit of glue to hold it together. Okay. Now, take your rocket tube. What I, what I usually like to do is do a few snips on this end. You're going to want your cone to fit over, but bend these in. Because you want an airtight seal on one end of the. Okay, so what I usually do is just smear some glue on there. And then you just overlap those pieces. Like that to seal the end. I also. We'll just tear bits of paper add some glue to it drop it into the end of your rock mode take your glue or your sorry your hose push it down you may need your scissors to help you with this and you jam it down there that's to make your end nice and airtight. Okay, the nose cone will fit over the top like this. And so you 
smear some glue on here. Put that over the end like so. All right, you can see that the cone is a little bit too big for the rocket body. So I'm going to just trim some of this off. So there's my nose cone. All right, the next step for the rock, rocket is to build or to uh, attach some fins. You want the fins as far back as you can on the rocket. The fins. The fins are bits of cardboard from a cereal box. I've cut four of them, four diamond shapes. I prefer to use three fins because it makes my rocket a bit lighter and the lighter your rocket the higher it will fly. So I'm just going to take one of these and put them aside. Now to attach the fins you use a hot glue gun. Make sure you're working on your bench protection mat. You take your bit of cardboard and you put glue along one edge. Your first fin, okay, perpendicular to the surface of your tube. All right, another thing you can do because a rocket flies, flight is more stable if the rocket is rotating as it flies through the air. To get that spin effect, you take your fin, put a little bend in it. This one here I've bent to my right, your left. You do that with all of the fins. And it will rotate as it flies through the air. In this case, it's going to go this way. Right, so that is your stomp rocket.